With over 11,000 cards in the Yu-Gi-Oh! training card game, it's impossible to know every single one of them. With this series, I'll be trying to shed some lights on cards that didn't register on anyone's radar, so let's find Yu-Gi-Oh!'s Unpolished Gems. Hello everyone, Jacolo here, and I welcome you to Yu-Gi-Oh!'s Unpolished Gems. And the topic of today's video, which is a very 5Ds card, something that will make your opponent collapse under its own gravity. Gravity Collapse is a counter trap first printed as a in Star Strike Blast all the way back in November 2010, and was later reprinted in OTS 13 in June 2020. It hasn't seen any competitive success, but you can see it pop from time to time in various synchro focus strategies, especially since its effect is pretty simple and it goes as follows. When your opponent would summon a monster, send one face up synchro monster you control to the graveyard, negate the summon, and if you do, destroy that monster and your opponent cannot summon a monster until the end of this turn. The most obvious upside of this card comes from its ability to negate summons. On top of that, it also prevents the opponent from summoning until the end of this turn, basically ending it right there. When it comes to Gravity Collapse's downside, the greatest is the cost. You have to send a face-up synchro monster you control to the graveyard, basically going minus one in card economy. However, that's not the end of it. Since the card needs a monster summoned by a specific summoning mechanic, the deck has to be specifically tailored for it, or have an engine that can provide it. Technically it can be used in anything that can synchro summon. Two weeks ago I would have recommended using a Mayakashi engine to facilitate this card, however, since Mayakashi are getting their own card which is searchable and has a much more powerful effect, this might not be such a great idea. You can still use it until Ghost Meets Girl and Mayakashi and Shimonui Tail is printed in the TCG. This card had two printings. First in one of, if not the one, last printed set ever and the second in an OTS pack. Armed with that knowledge, you can make an estimate on how much this card will cost you. At the time of this recording, the average price for the Star Strike Blast Rare is a bit above $14, and the price for the OTS Common is $7.5. I think I covered engines cheaper than that. With that, we finish today's episode. Remember to make your opponent collapse so you can reign supreme on the battlefield that are children's card games. This has been Jacolo, and I'm signing out. See you in the next one. Peace.